Faith spoke on her marriage yes. to the notorious B.I.G. Yes. There were a lot of things that we did not know that we found Absolutely. out tonight. And the thing about Faith is like you've heard so much Biggie stuff that you think you know everything there is to know about Faith and Biggie. But she continued to drop just nuggets on us and taking us in moments that we hadn't been in. Um, you know, from how they met to how smooth Biggie was, which everybody knows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, was a, he had a way with words. Um, until, like, she took us all the way until his untimely death and their interaction the night that he died. So I just think that that was just a dope way for us to just better understand, like, their relationship and, you know, all that they had been through. I was at that party that night when, when you know, at the Peterson. And they were like, you gonna go speak? They go big and them, you know, you gonna go speak? I was like, no, he see me, you know? <laughs> just, you know, just that, that whole prideful thing. But he made sure he sent C's over to where me and my friends were. And like, what's up? You know, what's up? You seen Big over there, that type of thing. Like, yeah, I see him. What's up? Tell him I said, hey. And I remember when we were about to leave that party to go, there was an after party at a house in the hills. I don't think we were close enough to make it out to have been gunshots. We heard commotion of some sort. It's hard to get closure in the death of your husband. But I felt like at that party, you know, before they were yeah, meeting, they had a lot of different issues in their marriage. They did. And he seemed to want to work things out with yes. her and, you know, take the kids on vacation and really have a good time. So I think for her, that was closure. closure. I think so, too. And I think the fact that even though he sent C's to go send that message, she, she says it. She knows he was a little lazy. He wasn't going to get up but just at least that effort to acknowledge her being there. And then from her being there, you know, and calling his mother and everything else, like she still picked up the role as his wife right. and made sure that those things were taken care of. I think it just speaks volumes to who Faith is. A wife's job is never done. Never done, never done. I started thinking about all the things that I felt weird about in the first place with him being here. And I just remember starting just praying as I was walking back to the car, like, oh my God, oh my God, please let him be okay. Oh my God, oh my God. Just like, yo, we gotta go to, I know where the hospital is. Like I was a nervous wreck, but I had to get to where he was. I knew Cedars was the closest hospital. And Puff was like um, stuttering and like, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna let you talk to the doctor. Cause I'm like, where is he, what, what? And the doctor just, you know, came and told me that he didn't, you know, basically he didn't make it. But my main thing in that moment was like, where is he? Can I see him? I really, in my, in the bottom of my heart thought, I'm going there, I'm gonna tell him a joke, I'm gonna rub on his belly, you know? And I think the moment that sticks out the most is that, you know, like just in storytelling fashion, she takes us from that moment to being afraid to getting to the hospital. Right. And I think at the hospital, you know, having, you know, all these doctors and, you know, all these rappers, Diddy and all those people just kind of pacing and frantic. And these are, you know, some of the most confident people right. in the world. So having them be uneasy and not know what's going on and not knowing how to direct her. And, you know, literally that leading to her having to call, you know, Miss Wallace to even let her know. You know, those are just intense moments in the interview because, really? you know, you've heard of the death a million times, but you just haven't heard from her perspective, like what happened that night. My mom is white and my dad is black. My mom felt that I had to be in touch with the fact that I was African American. Oh, I so appreciate it now. It chokes me up. Paula Patton on the season finale of Uncensored, next Sunday at 9 on TV One.